Hi everybody, it's Megan here from Little Pink Bike, and I've got a fun new project for you. I have a thing for calendars. I'm not really sure why, but I do. Today I thought I'd show you how I put a calendar into a CD case. You might have an extra CD case laying around the house from an old CD that you're not listening to anymore. This is a great way to use it up. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Here's my calendar that I made for the month of January. I'm just showing you how I take apart the CD case and put it back together so that it gives me a little stand to put my calendar page on. Here are the supplies I'm going to use. I have some black and white baker's twine from Hemptik that I got at Winners for the stunningly low price of $3.99. And my go-to, at least this month, dies are the little hearts from the Lawn Fawn journaling set stitched journaling set and then I'm going to use the cloud border from Mama Elephant's Landscape Trio dies set. Love that stitching and a rectangle cut from the Lawn Fawn stitched rectangles and finally I'm going to be using the February page from my downloadable calendar. I'm going to be using the Mama Elephant Love From Above stamp set. Can hardly wait until they get the dies for this set. They're kind of a pain to fussy cut. Now I embossed the sentiment on the rectangle that I cut into a two inch slice and I had to cut out a bunch where my big head got in the way. So I did use an embossing buddy that you might be able to see at the top of my screen there. It's really important to use that. It keeps the stray little bits and pieces from sticking on your cardstock. And you'll notice I actually found some stray bits and pieces, so this is my solution. I take my X-Acto knife and just use it to push some of those little bits off. It actually works pretty well. And now I'm going to show you how I got the little cloud border for the top. I took the stitched rectangle from Lawn Fawn, die cut it with a piece of white cardstock, and then I just cut a portion of it with the landscape trio die from Mama Elephant and that gave me a really cute little uh, cloud border there that you see. Time to adhere the little cloud border to the top of the red rectangle. And the red rectangle is just the background for our little scene. I'm just erasing a little bit of goober or something on there and I use my little gum eraser. Okay time to stamp and color the bits and pieces that are going to go on the red rectangle. I stamped the big cloud and I stamped the little angel and I'm going to stamp the cloud that goes around the angel. And now I'm going to stamp the little halo. First time I stamped it, it worked out pretty well but I always like to have a spare. Second time didn't work out so great so I went with a third. Here are the Copic markers that I used to color my images. I'm going to turn on some music so you can be entertained while I color. See you in a bit! Okay, it's time to put all the little bits and pieces together. When I fussy cut the halo, I actually cut it apart at the back so that I could slip it onto her head really easily. There's a glue dot behind there to kind of hold it into place. Now I'm going to use a little bit of foam tape to adhere the angel to the bigger cloud. I like a bit of dimension on my projects.
And you can see as I add some adhesive there that I use both sides of my cardstock. I don't find it shows through. Now I wanted to put a little bit of baker's twine on there. So I'd originally put it on there and then I took it off so it was in the same shape. So I just slipped it on over top. Worked out pretty well. After messing with the bow a little bit, it's time to adhere our little red rectangle to the top. Now watch really carefully here. I'm going to try to adhere it upside down. Good thing I caught it. Time to add a little bit of Wink Estella. I really like clear wink of style on projects, and angels kind of deserve a little bit of sparkle, I think. The cloud to the right of the angel looked kind of bare, so I die cut three of the little hearts from the Lawn Fawn stitched journaling dies. Now I'm going to just arrange them on the cloud and then glue them down. I'm using my pick me up tool from Silhouette and a little bit of Tombow Mono Multi Glue to adhere them. Now here's where the fun begins. I'm all ready to put it into my CD case and I realize it's too big. I had to take it to my trimmer and trim it down. I thought it'd be kind of fun to put a little heart where the 14th is, so I took a heart from the Love From Above set and inked it up and put it right over the 14th for Valentine's Day. Now that's all done, I'm ready to put it into my CD case and it's ready to go for February 1st. I like to put the old one in the back just in case I want to refer to some of the dates in January. It works out pretty well. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial on how to create a calendar from a CD case. If you're looking for the printable file for the calendar, head over to littlepinkbike.blogspot.com to pick up the file.